dovrebbero parlare? Cosa ci direbbero? Mike, she wonders if whales could talk, what would they tell us? Is likely to take human jobs away. AI leader, safety now! AI leader, safety what is going on guys welcome to another stream of the black tech experience today we are talking about open ai protests and if you don't know who i am my name is rami i'm a software engineer at a fan company i worked at places like twitch x twitch engineer x google intern uh, i have my master's degree from cornell and yeah i'm at I, I, program smart contracts and did AI programming. And so I'm definitely an expert. Don't like guys. That. All right. And we are cooking. <laughs> we are struggle streaming today. Um, so this is a video about a protest on the new uh, open, open AI and a model. I guess people are mad about their jobs. Uh, let's take a look. Took a big step forward today. Let me guys know if you can't hear it because I think last time, like, uh, you guys, it was on mute. I'm talking about artificial intelligence and a Bay Area startup that's showing off what AI can do like we have never seen before. But what does this mean for your jobs? And why were protesters outside the company's offices today? Let's bring in our business and tech reporter, Scott Budman, for some answers. Scott. Well, Janelle and Terry, we are, of course, talking about OpenAI, which has a ton of funding from both Microsoft and Silicon Valley VCs. Today, they showed off what they've been using that money for, an update to a program called ChatGPT, where the AI now wants to be your friend. Once upon a time in a world not too different from ours. And that's how the story of GP. Yeah, it's kind of scary, like, to think about this, like, uh, if you guys knew about Uber and how they came up, like there were protesters claiming um, almost fighting the people driving Uber. And so with open AI, like and the mass exodus of the nine to five because of AI killing jobs, I foresee that there's gonna be a lot of protests. And there's gonna be a lot of men uh, lost because they don't necessarily have a purpose. T4 begins with a phone that wants to be your friend, or at least help you with math. The first step is to get all the terms with X on one side and the constants on the other side. But even as OpenAI rolled out the latest chat product at its headquarters. AI leader, safety now, AI leader, safety now. A group called Pause AI protested outside. We're out here uh, asking for OpenAI to be reined in until we know that what they're doing is safe and that they're doing it in a safe way. And uh, it really shouldn't be us doing that. It should be our government leaders. Nervous about how eerily human the AI has become. It's going to be very, very, very close to the humans. And now we're going to look at. Yeah, I think. Can you guys imagine? Like I was I struggled like um, my teachers didn't allow me to even be in a I had to fight to be in their honors classes. And I, I've talked about that previously in a video. And so I'm really excited for the opportunity to have students to have free education from the AI. Um, but yeah, it definitely does seem very human-like, but at the same time, we're gonna listen to another video, um, talk about how it's not smart at all. But let me guys know in the chat, do you think AI is dangerous? Um, I'd love to know. At your phone, your phone is not, uh, you know, a smartphone is basically, uh, you know, a friend. Engineering professor Ahmed Banafa says, at least in the short term, technology that can do this in real time. Potessero parlare. Cosa ci direbbero? Mike, she wonders if whales could talk, what would they tell us? Is likely to take human jobs away. The tutors jobs will be at risk. You know, you, you can talk about that. Jobs really going to be at translators will be at risk at the same time. Um, uh, these things comes with a price. The question now is, where does AI go from here? 
Yeah, Scott, that is the biggest fear. It'll take away jobs. But with new technologies, new technology, usually there are new jobs, new job creation. Is that the case? I think it will be the case. This is so new, Janelle, that right now we're seeing people getting freaked out because their jobs are likely to go away. Companies. Yeah, like I saw a theory online that said, like, in the future, everybody's going to have a very unique job. So instead of like everybody having like like a title of the lawyer, we're all going to just be something specific. Like, I don't know, anime, AI creator. I don't know. <laughs> These are cutting back because they have AI instead. But and you're right with every new technology, new jobs and new sets of jobs have been created. I expect that will be the case here. Some because we're going to need and look at these things. We're going to need to figure out how ethically to deal with this. So we're going to have a whole new category of jobs as to what humans will be able to do and what we will allow machines and robots to do in our place. Now, I, I see him serving drinks and I see him walking across the floor. Are they going to take our jobs? You know, there's my question. They, <laughs> you know, ours in the aggregate. Hey, maybe, but not well, you, Terry. Well, There's only one, really. And and I mean, there are, there are some human <laughs> things when it comes to translating a language or things like that. Yeah. That okay, a phone can do, but delivering the news, Terry. Yeah. I'd like to think that we're going to. You be need humans for, for that. At least a little while. Yeah. We do like to think that. Yes. All right. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Scott. <laughs> you Scott, bet. Thanks. Nothing dims my light like a migraine. Oh With no. Nertek o no. No ads on my chat. <laughs> All right. So. Um, I think that was more mild than I thought. And I think it's probably too early to be thinking. Let me mirror my camera real quick. It's probably too early to be thinking that uh, there's going to be nationwide protests. But yeah, I'm absolutely positive AI is going to create jobs. There's some things that I will never, I would not allow, allow an AI to do for me. I don't know if I would allow an AI to be a pilot or to sentence other people to to um, death. I think there is definitely some things, and we don't know how well AI is gonna be at hacking things as well. Like, can you guys imagine, uh, like my voice is all over the internet. Somebody can take my voice, call my mom, and they can be like, hey, like, what were uh, Rami's passwords or something? And you might be able to get my mom or a loved one through that. Or imagine somebody doing that with Barack Obama. I'm not even that uh, famous and you don't have as much info on my voice. But it's it's a scary time. Or it's, it's scary and exciting. And I, I talked a little bit about how um, teachers, my teachers often fought to keep me out of these classes. Um, and those classes could have helped me be an AI right now if I had more rigorous math programming. Um, and people, you know, people like to gatekeep information and like to keep uh, keep the system elitist in a sense that like nobody, unless you were born into this type of thinking, um, it's impossible for you to get in, which is ugly. Um, or I think it's ugly. I don't know what you guys think.